Ever since the internet brought other ways to explore alternative perspectives with that person, there have been a need to connect with others with this certain novelty behind free online chat sites that allows users to socialize with others without the need to register, while the service randomly pairs users in a one-on-one -on -one chat session where they can chat as long as they don't reveal their whereabouts. Some famous individuals have made some appearances and the next thing you know there are videos uploaded online of these encounters however it is little known on how this website started and how it came to be so we'll cover the history and the basis on this website used by millions around the world and this is how it all starts This is Landrider7, aka LR7, Land here, and I'll be covering this website that millions of people uses to meet strangers from different walks of life from all around the world, and how it came to be. When you look up the man who founded Omega on YouTube, you'll only see some videos relating to people conversations or doing their antics on the website, or some irrelevant content thrown in, but rarely hear about his whereabouts mentioned other than those very few that are yet to be discovered. His name is Leif K. Brooks from Battlebore, Vermont, created this site when he was 18 years old and launched it on March 25th, 2009. He later joined the Octane AI company shortly after its foundation on May of 2016. The startup powers millions of automated conversations for brands such as Kiehl's, as well as celebrities such as Jason Durlow, Marlon Fox, and 50 cent using Facebook Messenger for marketers to be able to send promotional messages and publications on their behalf. Omega was initially a text-only chat that paired users at random to communicate as strangers. However, in 2010, a video mode to complement the text chat mode has been implemented in which pairs together strangers who are using webcams and microphones. In 2011, the beta version of a new feature Spy mode was introduced. In spy question mode, users have two options to be the spy and ask a question of the two strangers or to discuss a question with another stranger. Spy mode also became popular on 4chan and the users of B as well as V due to its similarities to the spy in the video game Team Fortress 2 in which became a popular way of trolling to confuse users on who answered the question. In 2012, Omega added a special new feature, the text and video mode, with options to put interest tag, pairing users who have something in common, and if no available match is found, the user is paired with a completely random stranger instead. Unfortunately, this information can also be used by adults with malicious intent to identify potential targets. In 2013, an unmoderated version of the chat website was opened leaving the original content moderator regulated video section open to anyone age 13 and up as long as the content of his or her video stream is clean. Initially questionable adult content in the video section of Omega was filtered using image recognition algorithms only. Users have reported encountering nudity or sexual content on camera and other times bans users that has done nothing wrong. In 2014, Omega began experimenting with dormitory chat mode, in which requires users to provide an email address ending in .edu to verify that they are associated with a college or university. Dorm chat allows users to chat with their classmates and colleagues on Omega. That same year, a 22-year-old man sexually assaulted two 13-year-old girls he made friends with on Omega. The girls were lured into a private meeting and later assaulted. In 2015, 
2015, Omega began implementing reCAPTCHA security measures to help reduce the amount of internet bots on the site. This has, however, been met with complaints that bots remain and legitimate use is excessively interrupted, leaving users locked out. Solving puzzles. In 2017, a virtual assistant manipulated two underage girls into engaging in explicit and inappropriate conversations that were later used to threaten the girls. A man from New York traveled to Charlotte for the purpose of engaging in inappropriate activity with a minor whom he met on Omega. In September 26, 2018, the police made an operation to capture predators on Omega and other chat sites over in New Jersey. 24 people has been arrested for assault against minors. In response of the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China during late 2019 and early 2020, Omega expressed support for the Hong Kong protest and liberation of the 2019 protest with an image on the front page as seen recently on the website. In May of 2020, a woman by the name of Crystal Cherky Scott, also known as the Crazy Cat Lady First, started an anonymous account on TikTok to promote her live streams on Omega. She killed, burned, and skinned cats alive under the furry interest tag. Later, she has been officially arrested by the Texas police that same month when users from Reddit and 4chan gets involved to bring her to justice. In order to be able to start using this website, you can type in some tags of and. You can also put your edu email as this is optional on either chat or video. It would normally take you directly to the person, but sometimes reCAPTCHA kicks in and it makes you solve a puzzle. And once you're hooked up to a stranger, you can type in anything you'd like to say. And when a conversation ends, it notifies you that you got disconnected. And the same thing applies for video chat. Just make sure you allow webcam and mic to go through in your browser. This is the part where you will have to be careful on who you give your contacts to. So make sure you don't give anyone anything revealing as you will come across some questionable individuals and people that are probably not supposed to be here. You'll even find adult content shown here and jailbait. So be careful who you trust or else you might get into some deep trouble. It may be tempting to get a free proxy or VPN for your browser or even an app to get around being banned or people identifying your location from your IP using a network analyzing program like Wireshark. It's not recommended as most of these proxies will collect your private data and other times they don't always work so you should stay away from VPNs like Hala or if you have no other choice because of paid VPN won't let you through, then make sure you remove it from your computer or browser when you're done with Omega. Surely there are other chatting platforms out there that you can try and talk to strangers from there, but it doesn't compare like Omega, despite its questionable individuals that plague this website, much like how others do anyways. It's the one website where millions of people goes and and meet up with people. Some are good, others not so much, and some are flat out questionable. It's a risk that you take when you use these websites, but overall, it's a great way to meet new people without physically going anywhere. Even I've used it to gain somewhat of a following when I live stream my conversations where people in the chat can also communicate with whoever I'm talking to and vice versa. And I I've even screen shared whatever's on my desktop for the time I was using this site. Definitely not recommended unless you know what you're doing and making sure you cover the screen before revealing who you're talking to. And I would not know what would it be like if Omega didn't exist and if these issues are ever going to get solved. So only time can tell. Till then, this is LR7 logging out. I'm out of ideas.